Confiscate everything from bottles of water to gifts that you might try to bring on a plane. So, how did a handgun clear airport security at RDU earlier this week? That's the question WRAL is working to get answers for since we first reported on this breach last night. WRAL investigates Cullen Browder joining us live at RDU with some details we've learned and some background on this. Cullen. Dan, a 2017 Department of Homeland and Security investigation uh, put the airports across the nation to the test. They took in fake weapons, fake explosives, and they found that TSA agents missed them more than 70% of the time. Well, a lot has changed in terms of training, also uh, technology, uh, and we're finding out that those failures are still happening, like when a handgun slipped through this week. Just last summer, TSA tattered its new CT scanners at RDU that keep lines and carry on moving. Everything stays inside your bag when you send it in. But the state-of-the-art 360-degree view missed a handgun in a backpack on Wednesday. This is something that I take responsibility for. Musician Cliff Waddell says he cleared RDU security and didn't realize he was carrying his 38 caliber handgun until it was caught by screeners in Nashville for his return flight. So the fact that it was just so easily undetected uh, was very alarming. That's unbelievable, honestly, because, you know, since like the Tyson 911, this thing, they stepped it up quite a bit and I would have thought that they would do better job with the strides that they're making with their new technology and stuff like that. So, I mean, that's, that's pretty surprising. TSA records show RDU saw a decrease in confiscated firearms from 100 in 2021 down to 74 in 2022. Nationally, however, it was a record year as airports went from 5,972 guns detected in 2021 up to well over 6,500 last year. TSA tells WREL staffing wasn't a factor in the missed gun, but they won't discuss potential discipline. For now, they're investigating how it slipped through and expect added agent training. That's surprising. I mean, I've had everything from tooling and torque wrenches taken out of my bag and thrown in the in the trash, not being able to carry it through, so, and screwdrivers. So it's really surprising that, uh, that a handgun made it through. So just this morning, because of this, TSA held a workforce briefing pressing their agents to be more vigilant and to also follow all those security protocols. As for Waddell, he surrendered his gun in Nashville. He says he was told he likely won't face charges, but Dan, people should know if you take a gun on a plane, you can face some very serious civil penalties. Uh, yeah, he's fortunate that they're going to let him uh, get off on this one. I have seen it go bad when people make that mistake. Cullen Browder live for us at RDU International. Thanks, Cullen.